x minus 100 less than 0. We need to worry about positive integers x, positive integer values that x can take that will satisfy this inequality. Right. So I am worrying about only positive integers, I am worrying about numbers from 1, 2, 3 all the way till billion. It is an open thing till a billion. So I want to start with substituting large numbers to see what is the pattern here. Right. Let me just substitute x equals 1000. Forget about solving this inequality. I'm just plugging in a value to see if it works. When x is 1000, this is 1000 minus 8, 1000 minus 10, 1000 minus 12, all the way to 1000 minus 100. So all of these numbers are positive. The product of a bunch of positive terms, that will be positive. That I know. I don't have to worry about magnitude here. Remember, I'm comparing with 0. All I'm worried is this term positive or negative. That's all. I don't care about the magnitude at all here. So product of all these terms will have to be positive because each of those terms is positive. I know x equal to 1000 it will be positive, x equals 500 it will be positive, 200 it will be positive. Anything and everything up to 101 each of these terms is positive so the product has to be positive. So straight away I am having to worry about only numbers less than 101. So practically I have to worry only about integers from 1 to 100, that is a big step. Now, even in 1 to 100, values 8, 10, 12, 14, all of these, the product will be 0. That I know. So, I do not have to worry about 8, 10, 12, 14, all of that. I have to worry about numbers from 1 to 100. Let me start with the smallest number. Let me plug in x equals 1. When x is 1, 1 minus 8 into 1 minus 10 into 1 minus 12, all the way till 1 minus 100, each of these terms is negative. So, I am multiplying a bunch of negative numbers together. Now, very important property, very simple property, product of two negative terms is positive, product of three negative terms is negative, four negative terms is again positive. So, we have an even number of terms being negative numbers being multiplied, product will be positive. We have an odd number of negative numbers being multiplied, product will be negative. So, next step, I need to find how many terms are there. Are there an even number of terms or an odd number of terms? So, I am going to do this slightly differently. We have from x minus 8 till x minus 100. Let me assume that we have an x minus 2, x minus 4 and x minus 6 as well. Now x minus 2, x minus 4 all the way till 100 will be 50 terms. In my expression, I do not have these 3. So out of 50, I do not have 3 terms or this expression has 47 terms. Plus 47 terms, I am multiplying 47 negative numbers. So obviously the product will be negative. So when x equal to 1, the product works, the product is negative. So think about it, x equal to 1 will work, so will 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, till 7. For all values less than 8, each of these terms will be negative and the product will be negative. So if it works for x equal to 1, it will work all the way till x equal to 7. That much I know. So for 7 values, it works straight away. Now 8, 10, 12, 14, all the way till 100, all of these will go to 0. That I know. So I need to worry about only odd numbers greater than 7 and less than 100. So I am worrying about numbers like x, x 9, 11, 13, 15, etc. This is all I need to worry about. I'm worrying about 9, 11, 13, 15, all of these values. Let me start with 9. When x is 9, x minus 8 is positive. Minus 10, 12, 14, 16, all the way till 100. All of these are negative. So when x is 9, I have one positive term and the remaining 46 negative terms. I have one positive term, 46 negative terms. 46 negative terms, even number of negative terms, they will multiply to give me a positive number into positive. So when x is 9, this product will be positive, but I will not count x equal to 9. When x is 11, I will have two positive terms. These are the terms x minus 8 and x minus 10 and 45 negative terms. So 45 negative terms, that will give me a negative number into positive, that will be negative. So x equal to 11 will work. Next step, x equal to 13, there will be 3 positive terms, 44 negative terms. So x equal to 13 will not work because 44 negative terms will multiply to give me a positive into positive will be positive. So this will not work. Straight away I can sense a pattern here. There will be 1, 2, 3, 4 positive terms. More importantly, 46, 45, 44, 43 and so on negative terms. If I have an even number of negative terms, I should not count. 
we have an odd number of negative terms, I should count it. So I should count numbers like 11, 15, 19, all of those. I should not count 9, 13, 17, all of those. So coming back to our numbers that we need to keep, keep an eye on, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 will all be counted. After this, we'll have 11, 15, 19, all the way. All the way till what? We'll have to worry about that. The last odd number that we have to think about is 99. When x is 99, this term is negative. Everything else is positive. So one negative term, everything else positive. So the product will be negative. So 99 will get counted. Now I've accounted for the first part of this question. What numbers work? The question is not what numbers work. The question is how many numbers work. So I still have to somehow count this. Have to count how many terms are there in this list, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That bit is easy. And then 11, 15, 19, all the way till 99. I'll have to count how many terms are there on this list. Okay. So I'm going to focus on that separately. I'm going to forget about all of this. So let me take this and say, I'm going to focus completely on this list. So I have numbers 11, 15, 19, 23, all the way till 99. And I have to figure out how many on this list, how many elements are there in this list. One traditional way of doing this, this is an arithmetic progression. First term is 11, common difference is 4, last term is 99, plug it into a formula, get, and that's easy. But I want to think about this slightly differently. The common difference is 4, or I'm adding 4 at every stage. But somehow I can link each of these numbers to a multiple of 4, corresponding multiple of 4. I want to write 11 as 8 plus 3, 15 as 12 plus 3, 19 as 16 plus 3, all the way till 99 as 96 plus 3. I know the step size is 4, so I'm anchoring it to a multiple of 4. Now 8, I'm going to write it as 2 into 4 plus 3, 12 is 3 into 4 plus 3, is 4 into 4 plus 3, all the way till 24 into 4. Now I have all of these going from 2 into 4 plus 3 till 24 into 4 plus 3. Straight away it is clear. I'm counting from 2 to 24. There are 23 terms in this list. I'm counting 7 numbers here and then 23 numbers in this list or total number of positive integer values x can take is 7 plus 23 equal to 30 different values. So the answer we are looking for is x can take 30 different positive integer values where this inequality will hold good. Right. Based on a very simple idea, product of an even number of negative terms is positive, an odd number of negative terms is negative. Just that idea added on to a complex looking question and we get one part like this and maybe at the end of it. Right. Very good question.